Last month, I was given the opportunity to fly out to eBay headquarters and speak at eBay Open about international shipping. However, during that process, it became very apparent that there are a bunch of questions and misconceptions out there about shipping internationally. So for this video, I have partnered up with eBay to dispel some of those common misconceptions and go over some of the commonly asked questions that I was seeing. And while I'm doing that, we're gonna go pull some orders. And here we are, this storage room. It's been a minute since you guys have seen this. It's kind of uh, filled up in preparation for quarter four. So first things first, international shipping, should you be doing it? And the quick and easy answer for that is yes. If you are selling on eBay, I would highly recommend that you enable international shipping on your account. And I'll get into why in just a second, but I need to pull some orders first. Our first order here is over here in this box of toys. It's actually this really cool old school Mr. T doll. You can see he came with his own cassette tape down there and he sold for 25 bucks. Then we got a really cool Goosebumps watch going out here. This is a really cool one. It's got the holographic curly on the top. That sold for 30. Then right over here on the other side, we got a copy of Wii Sports going out for another 25. Followed by a pretty nice clothing sale over here in our clothing bins. We go down to bin S. And here it is right here. This is a Disneyland spirit jersey that sold for $80. So why should you guys be selling internationally? Well, for one thing, and probably the biggest reason that you should, is it's simply going to increase your audience. Instead of your stuff being for sale and available to people in one country, it's available to people in over 200 countries. Thus increasing the amount of potential buyers you have. Which is extremely important because the more potential buyers equals the more potential sales. The more sales, the more money. It's, it's good. It's a good thing. <laughs> And secondly, making international shipments is as easy, if not easier, than making domestic shipments that you're already making. I mean it, if you're already selling on eBay, selling stuff within your own country, you're selling domestically, then you can make international shipments. It's the exact same process. And I'm serious, as a seller, on your end, you do nothing different between an international package and a domestic package. There is no additional work on your end, and that's because eBay handles everything on the international leg of the package's journey themselves. And I'll talk more about that here in a second. Where is this thing right here? The next item going out is this tag hat right here. It sold for 30 bucks. And then actually right below that, actually, I think he sold too, but we got first a rocket top toy from the 70s, as well as this Flintstones kids toy right here that sold for 20 bucks. Now, some of you guys might be wondering what I meant when I said eBay handles the international part of the shipment for you. So essentially what happens when you make an international sale is you take your item, package it up in your box, slap your label on it like normal, and drop it off at the post office. From there, your item gets sent to a domestic eBay hub, they receive the package, and then they handle the entire international leg of the journey themselves. You are completely hands-off. They do all the customs forms, they do the actual sending of the box overseas, and they handle any of the customer interactions from there on out. Meaning you are responsible for getting your package to the domestic hub. That's it. Actually, in many ways, it's even easier than a domestic shipment because after you get the item to the hub, you don't have to worry about anything else. Next up here going out, I got some of these dollhouse parts right here. It was a kitchen, or no, a living room set that sold. One of these sets right here. As well as this tiny little Griswold dog that sold for 25. This vintage Marks figure for 20. One of these G.I. Joes for 27. Then we've got another piece of clothing, which was this Orvis shirt right here. And then up in this box right here, we've got this vintage Sterling Silver Native American made bolo tie for 85 smackaroos. Now, I've gone over why you should ship internationally and how easy it is to ship internationally, but I know some of you guys are worried about this, and it's probably the biggest concern that comes up when talking about international shipping, and that is returns which is a completely valid thing to be worried about because we've all been there. We've handled domestic returns. They can get messy sometimes and they're not fun to deal with. But believe it or not, this is where international shipping really shines. The international shipping policy is way better than the domestic shipping policy for sellers. And that's because you simply don't have to worry about returns internationally. And no, I am not joking. As long as you did everything right on your ends, getting the item the buyer ordered to that domestic hub, you're clear. You don't have to worry about any returns internationally because eBay handles them for you. No, I'm not joking. And it's even better than what it sounds because if there is a return internationally, eBay handles all the return shipping process and they handle the refund themselves. They cover you. You do not have to refund the customer for that order. Once you get that item to the hub, it's essentially a guaranteed sale for you. I'll say it again. 
if there's an international return, you do not do anything and you do not have to refund the buyer. Which seems almost too good to be true, right? I actually asked about this while I was at eBay Open because I didn't know what happens during the international return process, like outside of me not having to give anything back. And essentially what they told me is if there is an international return, the buyer sends that item back to the eBay hub, eBay inspects it, once it's cleared, they refund the buyer and then they liquidate the product. So you're not getting the product back, it just gets liquidated out and that's how they recoup their money. So you are free and clear and don't have to worry about doing anything. Now if only domestic returns were that easy. Let's get a couple more items here. Got a couple plush going out, like Bart Simpson right here. He sold for 20 bucks, I believe. And then we also got this Dick Tracy set right here that sold for 25. Moving back over here to the game shelf, got a Radica Solitaire handheld that sold for 20 bucks. And then there were a couple of vintage calculators that sold. This HB20S with the booklet went for 50 bucks. And then this TI2500 in the box ended up selling for 40. And then the last like major thing I want to talk about for international shipping that you guys might be wondering about is the actual shipping charges, which once again, eBay has conveniently made very, very simple. For you as the seller, the only shipping costs that you have to worry about are the cost to get it from your house or your place of business to that domestic hub that we talked about earlier. After that, eBay and the buyer are in control of the international shipping prices. You on your end do not even see that part of the process. Meaning you don't have to worry about the headaches of things like customs fees or importing costs or international shipping fees. eBay handles it all for you. Seriously guys, the team over at eBay that's been working on the international shipping program has really knocked it out of the park with this. They have streamlined pretty much every single aspect of the international shipping process as I've hopefully made clear in this video. And actually for me as someone who's been using this program for a long time, the only thing I can think of off the top of my head that I would wanna see improved is a way to combine international orders. Currently there's no combined international shipping. So if your buyer buys more than one thing from you, you have to send all those packages out individually. There's no way to combine them into one box, which is a little annoying, not a huge deal. And I know it's something that eBay is already working on and they've said they're going to be planning on rolling out very very soon so that's already being taken care of basically and actually if any of you guys out there have been using the international program and you can think of something that you would like to see improved let me know down in the comments of this video or if I didn't touch on something that you're curious about also let me know down in the comments but now let's go ahead and pull the final item of the day I saved this one for last because it is a good one this is a $300 sale and that is this right here, some Lauren, Ralph Lauren perfume. It's brand new in the box. You can see it actually still has the price sticker up there. 50 bucks is what I paid at an estate sale this weekend. The video for this will be out very, very soon. But even though this sold for 300 bucks, that's not the crazy part. What's crazy is this guy actually sold in under 10 minutes. I had to go and make sure I didn't make a pricing error on this guy because it sold so, so fast. It wasn't even the cheapest one on eBay when I listed it. I think I just had better keywords than the other listings that were up there. So this thing sold extremely, extremely fast, which I love, obviously. <laughs> And that is going to be the last thing that I'm sending out today, but let's go ahead and finish up our topic at hand. So if it's not obvious by now, I am a huge supporter of international shipping, and I think if you have the ability to do it, you should do it. For me, I have been doing the international stuff since I started on eBay. So I have been through multiple of their different variations of the international shipping program. And I'm telling you, it has never been easier to ship internationally. And this current program, EIS, is hands down one of the best features eBay has ever come out with. And I'm just gonna throw this in here. For me personally, my sales have increased dramatically over the last year since EIS took over as the new international program eBay offers. In fact, while I was on stage at eBay Open, Stu let me know that my sales had increased 5x. Ben, you're up 5x since awesome. you were from a <laughs> transaction awesome. basis awesome. once you were brought awesome. into eBay International Shipping. So if that doesn't inspire you, I don't know what will. Again, let me know any questions, comments, and concerns down in the comments of this video. Also, while you're down there, if you don't mind hitting the like button, I would really appreciate it. Also, if you wanna see more content like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. For now though, that is all I have for you today. Hopefully you found this video useful. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.